Good afternoon, Lisa. Good afternoon, Andrew. I'm in my shirt. There's a strange woman sitting on the sofa. Anything could happen. No. no. Doctor Who in the Rose. Yes. So, yes, so here we are. Doctor Who. On Blu-ray. The complete se- first series. And also... The book. Doctor Who. Rose. How many times have we seen Rose? Um, Dozens. It must be getting into double figures now. Yeah, yeah. it's well into double yeah. figures, I think. Because yeah. don't forget, I've also watched a lot of people reacting yes. to it. Yes, so you've, you've seen it a lot. Which also gives me a new perspective. Mm-hmm. But where we left off on our sort of fandom journey, yeah. the new series had been announced. Mm-hmm. And I think 2004, for me, was a lot of going on on the internet, trying to find as much yep. filming production information but not too much but not too much in terms of spoilers of plot Mm -hmm. Um, but I do remember things like when the first pictures of the Dalek appeared and things like this Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah um, how about your sort of build up to it well I was with you so you should remember well yeah I know but (laughs) how excited were you I was quite excited um, because the thing I mostly remember about this episode is that I had to work mm. the day it was on. Yeah, because you were working in... In, in Sherborne. Sherborne. And we lived in Gillingham. Yeah. And it was a train ride. Yeah. But because the tr- the time the train was at, it was a bit tight for getting yeah, back. Yeah, so I said... So I'd, you come and pick me I'd up. come and pick you up. But I can remember getting the train in the morning and walking across the bridge. And as I was walking across the bridge, I was quite nervous. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh, what happens if... Doctor Who's on tonight and nobody likes it. Yeah. That's the thing. We we felt, I think, as probably not quite as nervous as the production team, but Mm. we felt an associated nervousness, I think, yes. Because we really wanted it to... To be good. To work. Yeah. And when I picked you up, Mm. Um, I remember driving home and mm. we, we're, you were almost suggested hanging out the window and shouting <laughs> at people. Doctor Who is on at seven! Go there home! there were people on the streets and yes. I thought you shouldn't be on the streets, you should be in front of the telly an Waiting. hour beforehand just yes. in case they show it early, it early with yeah. your video recorder ready to record it. <laughs> yeah. And of course there was a documentary beforehand as well, Yes. which we didn't notice was narrated by David Tennant. No. No one noticed that no. at the time, didn't no. they? But anyway, so this is the second Doctor Who story uh, with the with the word rose in it, yes. Or at least it was. It, was, it, would have it been. might might have been had, had they made it. Had Donald Tosh's what was it? The Rosicrucians or the Rose, rose Mariners? Mariners. And, that was, and that's all we know. And that was about nineteen sixty seven, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, and I always like that title sequence because there's a very sort of definite nod to Bernard Lodge. Yeah. And that although mm-hmm. I always think the font used for the names, the three D names, always looks a bit cheap. As though it's been done on like free software you'd got on the front of a but computer they're, magazine. They're still learning at this point. So. Yeah. Uh, opening shot is of course Spearhead from Space yeah. re- revisited. Yeah. Then we do our zoom mm-hmm. in, and I said very fast editing and very modern music, yes. almost in an attempt to overcompensate for yeah. for sort of how maybe people Remember. thought it was going to yeah. be like, yeah. and. I do find all that sort of doom chak doom chak doom jam music is is you see how Murray Gold sort of evolves mm. over the years, yeah. Yeah. and he actually pulls it back a lot mm-hmm. in, in in later seasons. Yeah. I mean, by the by the time of you know his his last few years, it's mm-hmm. unrecognisable yeah. as Harry Styles. But then out. he changes it for every era. Yeah. Every Doctor's music has got a different feel to yeah. the Doctor before. They've all got their own themes. And they've all got different yeah, sort of I, kinds I, I of I did think Peter music. Moffat wouldn't like all those many camera cuts. Probably maybe. not, no, no. But you're saying that, I love the music because I've, well, I've got the CDs. I used to have it on my iPod when I had an iPod before I lost it. Um, and what, you lost the iPod? I lost the iPod, yeah, yeah. The, the whole iPod. But I've got, I've got the CDs and I've got Amazon Music, so I listen to it on there. And it just brings back memories listening to it. It's all it's very familiar the music. And I put who eats a sandwich like that? An idiot. When 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 Mickey does a, it's like it's a big Scooby snack, yeah. isn't it? Or He's like, <laughs> but I like that because in a few short bits, which you've established in the old some series character. would have taken a whole episode. Yeah. You've established yeah that little bit of character, yeah. even if it did mean some people complained. And I said. Uh, who does the lottery money in your shop then? Do you... um, there's no big syndicate. There's various people that yeah. do it. There's a whole actually in the book because I've I've, I've read I haven't it, read it. I've skimmed, skimmed read it. 
there's a whole thing about Wilson isn't actually putting the money on the lottery. All right. He's fiddling actually it. Actually, pass that over. So, yeah. So he's 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 taking the money, and I think if they win, sad ending. <laughs> If they win, he has to sort of try and get the money from somewhere yeah, or right, put okay. them off or something. But yeah. But yeah. H.P. Wilson. H.P. Wilson, yeah. Uh, named after Harold Wilson. Who was the Prime Minister when Doctor Who started. And H.P. Source. <laughs> Maybe. Which has got, a, I'm sure that's got a picture of Westminster on it. I think it's got a picture it has of got Big a picture Ben of on it. Westminster on it, yes. Yeah. Of the Houses of Parliament. Yeah. Yes. And I first, I said, uh, we go in the sort of spooky scene now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I put the first of several sort of gear changes of tone and pace as we're now a couple of minutes away but it feels like a million miles away from all that fast editing at the start yeah, yeah. and and obviously no ground Norton on this version mm. and I noticed a red sofa in the background which is yes. not a million miles away from ours no and I said who's Derek then Derek is that you yeah well, somebody that works is there, he the we? store joker or he might he? be like a security guard or something yeah. But yeah. is he like always pulling annoying practical jokes, Obviously, like, yeah. like whoopee cushions, yeah. or, or when you have to sit at the till and things like that? We don't sit at the till in those kind of shops. No, well, they stand. Okay, and, and so. what do they do? To sort of... They just stand. Right. Anyway. <laughs> just put is Derek dead as well? Because we found out that Wilson's. No, dead. no, I think Wilson's the only casualty. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And then we meet the we meet this new doctor whose mm. name is apparently Ron. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was slightly. Did he say Ron or Ron? <laughs> and, and perhaps he was looking for Ron. Maybe. But I like the thing with the autons that you get all the creaks of the plastic. Yeah. And it sort of adds to it. Yeah, the, the explanation about them being students being silly. Mm. Um, not very convincing, although when we were in Oxford once Spider-Man ran past, didn't he? he did. I that, think it was Spider-Man. It yeah. might have been Batman. And it that, was a superhero. That, that was a student being silly. Yeah. Unless it was the real Spider-Man, it might have been. I don't think it was. Well, maybe he'd been to the pub, like with Inspector Morse <laughs> or something. There was some sort of Morse Spider-Man crossover. Oh, so, okay. Notice that mm. the Sonic emits a blue beam. It does, yes. Um, you know, it's dangerous when Doctor Who gets his blue beam out. But you don't see that again very often, do you? It, you don't see his blue beam no. come out. No, it lights up, but... Yeah, mm. but, yeah. Um... And then we, we get the store explosion. Mm. And that's always one of those shots that a lot of reactors always go, ooh, bad CGI, bad special effects. Isn't this show ancient? I've never seen, obviously, in the end of the time, more a special edition then. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, even to this day, it amazes me that people judge shows that much on special effects. Mm. I, I'm always slightly disappointed. Because it's not a real show. It's no. not a documentary. And there's no way you could physically do that in yeah. that store where it is. Because yeah. um, it is on the middle of, of Cardiff. It does worry me a bit when, when people obsess about special yeah. effects. Because we did go to the shop when we went to Cardiff. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We didn't buy anything because it was very expensive. Um, yeah, as I, as I put, like, like 2005 is like ancient Age history for some people. 14 whole years ago. Yeah. I put Mickey's weird hugging. Yeah, Mickey's. A hu- I love Mickey's hugging. It's a recurring theme it's for the of... series. It's like, yeah, he just, he just, he just. <laughs> that looks lunges. like I was strangling you. He lunges, doesn't he? Because it's when in um, Father's Day, he just, he just grips onto a leg, and that's it. <laughs> that sounds like... rude. <laughs> he's some sort he does, of small he hugs dog. He a leg. Okay, um, I'm just thinking of Bill being to okay. Bill in the goodies being oh, possessed by the dog. spirit okay. of the dog. Um, and I, when we're back at um, the Tyler's house, flat, flat. I always said, I, I said, always look at the ornaments that mm. the set dresser is is decided, because all ornaments mm. in your house have got a story, haven't yes. they? You know, there's a reason yeah. why we've got things on shelves. Mm. And I was I always wonder what the story behind some of these ornaments well, are. Because you said there's one of the um. It's one of, of those bottles that you drink wine out of, where, where it's got the the sort of pointy end. That all you that do. means is that somebody's been on holiday to that country and bought and it just, back. Just just imagine Jackie having a go with it and yeah. getting it all over herself. Yeah. Though. So, well, basically, as I said, to you somebody and then doing a knees up. Somebody's been to the nearest charity shop and bought a load of tats. Yeah. No. And just Rose's the, incredibly the pink room. God, it is pink. Is she a princess? She's a pink princess. Yeah. I mean, that is an amazing set because it's a studio set, Mm. but it's so well done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you you said about this, about how this episode is put together, and there are pick-up shots all over the place, so Mm. without going through all the the dates of everything, I couldn't tell you 
exactly what order everything is filmed in. This is, of course, part of the first production block, yeah. like, along with episodes four and five. Mm-hmm. But for various reasons, some of which we still don't know no. the actual reason mm. for, because um, there's this story about... We still don't know the story about the sofa that was meant to go through a window or something. Oh, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and uh, I think um, Phil Collinson said we'll be able to tell the story of that one day, and nobody ever has. No. So, mm. But, yeah, th- th- this this... This is filmed mm. in very much fits and starts. So mm-hmm. yeah, and the fact they've got a cat flap yeah. is a nice nod to survival oh, because yeah. it was the working title of survival. I'd never really thought about that. Yeah. Huh? You say about the master in mm. the TV movie, yeah. but it, it, this nods to survival as yeah. well, and in, yeah. of course in its urban setting yes. as well. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'm in my dressing gown. Um, you said Rose doesn't boil the kettle when she's no, making tea she or coffee. No, she offers him coffee. And then doesn't boil the kettle. But all she does is put... So maybe the kettle's just boiled. I mean, a few minutes before, yeah. Jackie does come in with a cup of tea or coffee. Yeah. But it's going to be a bit... It's going to be a bit lukewarm. Not, you like it hot and steaming, but don't yeah, you? Then saying that, some coffee... I'm going to say that again. You like it hot and steaming, I'm don't you? That. Coffee is not meant to be boiling water. It's meant to be hot, right. but not boiling. But that wouldn't be hot. Okay. It's, yeah... It's probably, it, maybe it's the way it's edited, but... Uh, OK. Hmm. Um, so the Doctor swans off to more busy music, mm-hmm. and I said, that... This is after the scene with the arm. Yeah, in I've the not really flat. got any notes about that. It's, um, yeah. yeah. Um, but I said, you've got that long walking shot mm-hmm. with the camera going backwards. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know quite how they've done it, because mm-hmm. there's no rails for the camera. Perhaps it's steady is, cam. Is, is it steady cam? It, it might, might be. be I don't cam, know. Yeah. But I, I just said, how many attempts did that shot take? Because it goes on for a long time. Well, presumably the cameraman's got somebody behind him making sure he doesn't. I'm not that. Over. I'm just thinking about random members of the public wandering into shots. Well, no, they they would have closed it off. Yeah, we, they? yeah, but it's a lot of area to close off. There's yeah. an awful lot of entrances. Well, it might. Not, it's not all done in the same shot. Probably, I'm just is imagine, it? I'm just thinking of when and sort of you you filmed with um, mm. sort of Nick and Andrew mm. Candish, and you, you'd get the old drunken person. Yeah. coming in and Andrew Candice had to give him money to go away yeah. um, only one person only one. Hmm. Um, and it's all very empty isn't it there's nobody yeah. about because mm-hmm. I was watching some Sutton Park and of course because of the way Paul used to film Sutton Park with puppets and things like that he used mm. to hope against hell that somebody wouldn't come round the corner and wonder what on earth he was doing with like talking to puppets and things like mm-hmm. that but there's nobody about in this no. shot there really isn't but hmm. I think the implication is that everybody's on their way to work. Yeah, maybe. Because obviously Rose doesn't Rose have to go isn't. to work because she blew her shop up. I like the fact that she forgot to not turn, turn the alarm off. off. That'd yeah. be annoying, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. You used, to, you used to scare the hell out of you when you forgot to do that. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't actually need to get up yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, f- first time we hear Chancellor Flavia singing. Yes. Ooh. That is what Russell calls her. Yeah. And what, what's Mickey's emails contain? Yeah, what, what, what has Mickey been getting up to? Has he been getting up to some, yeah, some been sexting? He's been talking some, to ladies. With some ladies, yeah. bad ladies, I think. <laughs> um, and I just put, put, remember boxy monitors and rubbish oh, websites yeah, like that. Yeah. Really simplistic yeah. websites, yeah. Um, now, the, the bloke that puts out the bin and gives Mickey a funny look, because yeah. this is the Auton bin. Yes. That turns out to be. Yeah. So, is the bloke aware that he's got an Auton bin? Mm-hmm. Is the bloke an Auton mm-hmm. or an Auton agent? Yeah. Or does he put the bin out and then it becomes possessed by the spirit of Autonness? I think it's the last one. Yeah. But it's got is a there really, a beam? It's really got a very small amount of rubbish yeah, and recycling yeah. or whatever it is. Why does he bottom? put it out if there's, there's no... Like this, there's like yeah. six things. Um, unless the bin at it. That is a good point. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. it became an auton bin, the, the moment it got put on the on the yeah, pavement. How does it get Mickey yeah. to... Uh, I, 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 yes, I'm getting to that. I'm getting okay. to that. We'll get to that yeah. when we get to it. But, yes. <laughs> so, I, 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 I want to know more about that okay. scene. We'll have to have a look in the have book. To, have to look in we'll the book. See if it says it was. I mean, the thing I like about the book is there were some bits that are extended on because I've just had a quick look. And the reason that Clive has an obsession with the Doctor 
Yeah, well, we'll get to that again in a minute. We'll get to that in a minute. I'll tell you what what it says in the book in a minute. So Rose meeting Clive is Mm. like going to a local group meeting for the first time. And and (laughs) meeting the parents of the person you were visiting, isn't it? She's a she. And I put she's a she interested in the doctor. Do you take offence at that a A little bit? A little tiny bit, but I can see where it's coming from because it was always considered unusual to have... not in America so much. Yeah. There were more female fans in America, but in this country, it was quite rare to have female. It's friends. interesting that our sort of group. We had quite a lot. We of female had quite fans. a lot of, yeah. of female representation, yeah. which yeah. I never really thought about that. No. But uh, yeah, that's the thing. I, I I was never quite aware that mm. sort of wider fandom was quite so imbalanced as as it I, was at the I, time. I mean, I, I th- I've told this story before, but I did once brought up Fraser Hines, Fraser Hines Day yeah. by. Because there'd been, a, I think, a sort of long succession of males, and he's like, oh, "A lady, there's a lady I could be." But a that's bit the thing I never considered you yeah. unusual. No, because I knew no. a, a fair amount of, yeah. of, of female fans. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, was... I did once get told by some guy I worked with that I'd grow out of Doctor Who. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, I'm 25. It's not going to happen." And I put Clive's a very bad researcher. If the only Doctor he can find is Eccleston, there's more in the uh, book. But in the book, yeah, yes. more in the book. Yeah. 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 So, what's all this about his obsession then? Um, I've only had a quick look because, as I say, I've only skim read it. But his father was killed in Shoreditch yeah. in 1963. Oh, right, okay, so, so Remembrance. Remembrance, okay. yeah. So he's yeah. one of the soldiers. He's a soldier or something. Yeah. So, and he's obviously obsessed with the doctor because of that. Okay. It's just a nice little bit of backstory from Russell. Rubbish photoshopping. It oh, never goes away, it never does it? Does. I mean, to be honest, I can see why they didn't do it. The, the, the Kennedy one. The Kennedy assassination one, obviously you've got to yeah. have the original picture. The what does Titanic one, wouldn't you just reshoot that mm. and put and fo- and put like in front of a green screen? But shows But then you've got to employ actors. But shows to this day have, oh, have rubbish Photoshop. No, no, this, Nobody can ever do no, it. No, it's the lighting's just wrong. And I said, Why is his bicycle hanging from the ceiling? Alright, yeah. He's got a bicycle okay. up there. Is, 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 some, is he making a sort of. Um, is it a dynamo? I d- no, I don't know. No, well, you'd have to sit on it. Uh, <laughs> but no, I imagine he's like sort of he's making some souped up Hoomobile type bicycle <laughs> that he can like fly around on or something like that. And I noted 0207 number on the estate agents, yep. and you said that was, that was right for that. Yeah. For that point. We're well, still right now. Okay. Yeah. And of course, the thing with Mickey's. With his hands on the on the thing yeah. on the bin, and mm-hmm. he's got all the gloop coming up. Fair mm-hmm. enough, but as people have pointed out, when he turns round, his arms should be crossed. His arms yeah. go back, mm-hmm. so the actual goop should cross yeah. at some point, but it doesn't. No, but then maybe that was too difficult to CGI. Yeah, yeah. Okay, see why. We have to give him a bit of leeway. Burpee bin is one of those yes, things thing that, that annoyed the fans. fans. Hate. It's, it's just silly. The kids um, love it because we showed this. Did we show this? No, we didn't. We showed um, World War Three and, and mm. uh, yeah, and the, 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 the Sabine story, and my yeah. to my nephews, and they quite enjoyed. But it. they were going, Mickey's an alien because yeah. they they must have seen it. Yeah, they knew Mickey was yeah. a, was an Orton or something. Yeah. But yeah, so pizza, <laughs> pizza. I still quote that to you, you do. when we go shopping, yep. don't I? Yeah. And do do I ever get funny looks? Uh, I don't look at other people. You don't look at other people when I'm being weird. No. But if you look at other people, they try to talk to you yeah. as well. So. How blind is Rose? Yeah, because Mickey suddenly, his hair is all plastic He's all plastic. It, again, that's corrected in the book because she says to him, oh, Is it hot in here? Because he looks a bit shiny. Yeah, but it's so, so obvious that yeah. e- even yeah. if she is totally wrapped up in herself and doesn't yeah. care about him, mm. at least she would have seen his sideburns yes. or something like that. And also, there's a bit in there where his eye falls out, which yeah. they obviously couldn't do. Yeah. And I said, <coughs> Who's Jimmy Stone and what did Rose get up with him? Because she only left school because of him. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What have they been doing around the bike sheds? Eh? Do they even have bike sheds in schools anymore? I don't know. Well, uh, Clive's got a bike shed, quite literally. He's got a <laughs> shed with a bike in it, yeah. Um, why is Mickey glitching? Yeah. Uh, 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 he's like he's Stanley Unwin. <laughs> <laughs> he's an Auton. Because I've never seen an Auton do that 
before or since. No. So what's up with him? Is he? Yeah. Is he? Is he got dodgy Wi-Fi? Maybe or so, yeah, software's not working properly. Maybe he's got a scratch on something. And all the diners are very placid when all this is going on yeah. at the table opposite. Yeah. I still like the fact that the only person that screams in that scene is yeah. the man. Yeah. And they only get a bit upset when they when the table's upturned, yeah. isn't it? You know, and there's a bit of bit of mess flying at them. Otherwise, they're just quite happy to watch the cabaret. Perhaps <laughs> they think they're some at some sort of faulty terrors dining experience <laughs> or something like that. And they've paid to see like mm. a, a man pull off another man's head. I, I had to be careful <laughs> to finish that sentence. Uh, hide in a wooden box. It's not mm. wooden. It's concrete. Yes. It's something that the new series always trips yeah. up on the mm-hmm. TARDIS is a concrete um, but the nice the nice pull back into the TARDIS reveal is, yes. is, is very is well gorgeous. nice bit of camera yeah. movement yeah. why does Mickey's head melt because I, I assume the nesting consciousness stops sending the single so single the, the single Sing- the <laughs> signal that's a toothpaste but Spignal. why would it melt it, it right? would just go all stiff wouldn't it I'm, so- I'm sure I'm sure Rose wouldn't object to that maybe it's a defence mechanism Okay. To stop the doctor tracking it. Okay. Mickey's mother. Mm. Yeah, again... What this, happens to her? This changes, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Because um, she's in Father's Day and she vanishes. Yeah. Presumably all the people reappear when yeah. time goes back to normal. But in um, The Age of Steel and Rise of the Cybermen, yeah. she's abandoned him yeah and he lives with his gran yeah so yeah there's not so, much there's no continuity no. but again as we, we were discussing this earlier and you write something for one story then yeah, you write another story on, and you contradict it and you can't quite make it join no. up so uh rose doesn't know what a police box is has she never been to the underground is to the one outside the underground that you've not. that you've Touched. worshipped <laughs> didn't watch you. you were filming with me. We Nick were excited. And you had to keep touching we it. We were excited. It was a police box. What can you do? You have to what touch was you it. You and Nick and um, who else was it? Andy? Andy and Paul, possibly. And who was confused? Um, Michelle. Because she wasn't a fan. No. She was going, Why are you touching Why a police box? Why are you touching box? a police box and running around it and touching it again? <laughs> Yeah, so it was exciting. So why doesn't Rose know about that one? Has she never been there? Obviously not. The London Eye. Have you ever been on it? No. Uh, do you want to go on it? It's all right, but it's just like an hour of... You're stuck of, there, yeah. just going round really slow. It's all right, it would you... be great if it like spun round really fast. I don't think it would. <coughs> but yeah. No, it's, I get it. And there's it's... a Dead Ringers sketch. Yes, with Tom Baker. With, with Not John, with Tom Baker. With John, with John Coleshaw, Coleshaw as Tom, Tom Baker. Baker yeah. Going on about the pods or something, mm. isn't it? Um, I'm not sure breast implants are plastic. No, the silicon. Yeah. Sil- mind you, silicon. Silicone, silicone with an E, not right. silicon, because otherwise they'd be made of stone. Okay. Like the old Gree, they're made of silicon. Uh, filming in Westminster. Yeah. You've done a bit. You've done a bit of a filming bit of around there. Like I think we did yeah. some with Paul for um, for one of his one of his um, Roland Quaverall ones. Oh, right, yeah, probably. I, I yeah. vaguely remember mm. pointing at Big Ben or something. Mm. Um, we. I mean, you filmed on the West Bank, haven't you? South Bank. South Bank, not the West Bank. I've seen Israel. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> to get that far. <laughs> um, the nesting consciousness. Yeah. This is an example of assuming that people know what you're talking about. Yeah, Because I remember yeah. a newspaper review where somebody referred to a nesting consciousness, consciousness okay. like it was living in a nest. <laughs> <laughs> but because it's never explained what the nesting is. So, or the next deans. Right. Convention 15 of the Shadow Proclamation. Yeah, that'll pay off in about yeah, but three what, years' what, time. Who were the guests at the previous 14 conventions of the Shallow, shallow, the shallow. shallow Proclamation? <laughs> yeah. And yes, finally, how did Mickey actually get there? Yes. Did the bin, tra- did he like teleport, or did the bin have to transport him there, inching along and stopping every time anybody looked at it? Yeah. Because if, if you saw a bin trundling along at 30 miles an hour, like some out of, like, Dr. Emu and the Deadly Dustbins, then you'd, you'd, you know, you'd raise a hue and cry, wouldn't yeah. you? But I imagine the bin going inch, somebody looks at it, the bin, the bin goes, I'm not moving! Well, it doesn't, <laughs> it just thinks it. And then they look away, and it, it's like sort of the weeping angels, but a bin. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. To that. So yeah, and how did they, did they did it upend to empt Mickey out or something, mm. or did like an autumn have to have to pull him out out at the end? <laughs> and it, all his leg, little legs well, no, were flailing. Well, he's stinking if he's travelled in a bin. Yeah, he, she says to him, "You're yeah, stinking." Yeah, well, that's the that's the implication. He's been stuck in the bin, going, "Let me out, let me out." Mm. 
We're well, half in our path. Um, yeah. Why are all the flames and stuff going on? I don't on? know. I was wondering that this time. I've never really thought about it's it It's visually before. interesting. Yeah. But why? There's no point. No. Is, is there, have they got trouble with their gas supply or something? Like that? And how did the TARDIS get there? Is they, they, I, they, I said TARDIS. Okay. How did the TARDIS get there? Did three burly autons yeah, transport have it. to transport it on the back of a barrow or yeah. something? Going to me, to you, to me. <laughs> Up your end and all that. Queen's Arcade, mm. yay! Yeah, we've been there. We've as been well. there and travelled up and up down the escalator, escalator yeah. so we could. You didn't drop your. <laughs> no, bag, I didn't throw did my you? bag up the stairs. And there, there was this. There was a. Um, there was a toy shop. There was yeah. a toy shop. Yeah, and a jeweller's called uh, um, like, Brannigan's or something. Uh, Brannigan's, like yeah. Thomas <laughs> Brannigan Kincaid O'Flaherty or whatever oh, yeah. his name is in yeah. in Doctor Who and the car and the carjackers. Yeah. yeah. Or Doctor Who in the traffic jam, or whatever it was called. Mm. So yeah, we bought some Doctor Who trump cards there because we, we went to the shop mm. and felt we had to buy something. Yes, because we've been in the shop. Yeah. And if we had something Doctor Whoy, and we yeah. found some, I don't know where the trump cards are. They're here somewhere. We draw. Another thing that also confuses reactors is the Autons have got guns in their hands. Right. Okay. And again, as fans, we're totally familiar with yeah. it because mm. we've seen Spearhead and we mm-hmm. we we've seen Terror of the Autons, and we've mm. seen the Autons being made. Yes. Whereas. A lot of people that come to this cold, mm. they don't th- think to question where the Autons have come from. They assume that they're just ordinary dummies mm. that have been animated, whereas they're no. not. They're no. specially designed Autons mm-hmm. to, with guns built yeah. in them, mm. made somewhere. Yeah. So there is a plastics factory somewhere that's been mm. churning these out. Yeah. The, the, they're not. I yeah. never really thought about that. Yeah. Actually, there's yeah. a whole background that we never see. Okay. Which, I, I guess Russell, as a fan, sort of you know glosses over because yeah. he knows about it. But mm-hmm. these aren't normal shop dummies. No, these are I've autons really about with about guns. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it does confuse people because yeah. they go, "Where did they get the guns from?" I, yeah, it never yeah. even occurred to me. So, um, uh, I suppose you should have at least one non-fan on your team. Yeah, yes, yeah, so, I yeah. Um, Creepy, hideous what? <laughs> oh, he- creepy, creepy kids ones. The creepy yeah. kid autons are they're nice. They're quite good, yeah. yeah. They're quite sort of freaky. And um, so I like the fact that Rose got the bronze for her athleticisms. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. not from Star Trek. She didn't get the gold. No. She got the bronze. Mm-hmm. And I almost get the feeling she got the bronze because only like four people entered. Yeah. <laughs> and the fourth one was really rubbish. <laughs> Uh, a bit more silly music, you mm. know. To, I don't know whether it escalates the tension or de- de- detracts from it. And the three brides as well. Mm. Is this Russell sort of subconsciously sort of being scared of marriage or something like that? Does it, you know, that the bride? I'm not sure it applies to Russell. Well, no, I, I, I don't know, but mm. I don't know. Um, but. Um, Can't yeah, him. why does it explode? When Doctor Who tips see, the plastic yeah. in, yeah. why does the ceiling explode? I don't, see, I was watching that because that's that's all. It's not practical effects, is it? That's CGI, isn't it? Uh, some of it is, yeah. yeah. I, I, because when the flames go up mm. and engulf the light fitting, surely if it was proper real fire, the light fitting would melt or at least shake, and yeah. it doesn't. It just engulfs it and then sort of leaves it there. So if this big section that, that's underground explodes, mm. is there a dirty great gaping hole in the pavement in the pavement that people are falling yeah. in yeah. like mm. for years afterwards people just disappear in this area until eventually like, a big pile of bodies and then somebody goes oh there's a pile of bodies we should probably fill that in yeah. I think you've overthunk thought that I've overthunk it. it the police turn up incredibly late yeah. you know well, they are stretched G- given that Jackie walked from the police station to the yeah. to the um, arcade. Which doesn't seem far. Which doesn't seem far, no. but the police turn up about ten minutes after yeah. it's all finished. Mm-hmm. Maybe they were down the pub playing darts or something, I don't know. And I said, how localised is all this? Mm-hmm. So is it this just this area of London? Mm-hmm. Is it all of London? Mm-hmm. 
Or is it the whole of the country? Is it the Arndale Centre in Poole? <laughs> you know, which frankly would have been a useless place to invade at this time because yeah. it's late night shopping. Yeah. And if the, Ar- the Arndale gets locked up about seven o'clock... No, not they? all of it doesn't, no. Well, there is a bit of it they leave open for people to walk through. I just imagine a load of autons smashing out of out of the thing and then having to hang about till like it opens again at eight o'clock the next morning they just and, smash through and the they're doors. just sitting on the on the sort of benches and then yeah. and, and sliding through the wooden animals to amuse <laughs> themselves because <laughs> there are wooden animals in the yeah. Arndale Centre well they're, they've, they've come back they have come back I remember them from my yeah. youth there was a big mm. whale that I used to get yeah. inside you're not allowed I to ju- touch just them imagine that like the kid autons getting inside the whale ready mm. to pop out in the morning and surprise <laughs> people yeah <laughs> Um, and I said, um, when the TARDIS lands by that three-pronged street lamp thing, mm-hmm. you notice that one of the lamps is knackered. Okay. Uh, and I said, uh, uh, poor Mickey, as he gets Aww. he gets a kiss off of off of Rose, and off she toddles with the yeah. with 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 the. With She's the, very rude to him. Yeah. 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 And next time trailers, where do you stand on them these I days? I don't mind them. Because, again, a lot of reactors turn up, turn those off and right. don't watch them. And admittedly, there are some dreadful spoilers in some of these yeah, ones. Yeah, they did learn... I think yeah. There's, the, yeah, there's quite a big spoiler in the one at the end of um, I'm Quite Dead. And Boomtown. And Boomtown, Boomtown's yeah. got a dreadful oh, one. Oh, yeah, because you see a darling, yeah, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah... Um, but then on the other end, if you're a reactor, I think that you should watch the episodes as broadcast. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. Mm-hmm. That you should watch to the end of the end credits, which very few people do, of course. I quite like it because it's, it's, it's um, giving you anticipation for yeah. the next episode. And that was the point of them. Yes. Yeah. But there are some of the DVDs... This this one has them. Yeah. Some of them don't. Yeah, yeah. again, there's sort of various edits, so, aren't there? So, yeah. yeah. And I just put, aren't those end credits slow? Yeah, when you can actually yeah. read them. You can actually, yeah, you can like... Oh, can and I forgot how slow they were. Yeah, because yeah. since then you can now it's only have sh- about 30 seconds, can't you? Yeah. And if you want to see anybody, you have to pause free, it. Free, freeze frame it, yeah. Especially if your name's on there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, there I am. <laughs> Which I hasten to add, my name has never no. been on the end credits. No. Anything Doctor Who No. I, I feel under... Underappreciated, okay. but hey. But there you are. There's mm. Rose, and I remember. Mm. Um, I think we went to some sort of mi- sort of smallest convention, one of those sort of little independent ones. Mm. And I remember Rob Shearman being there. Yes. Do you remember meeting Rob Shearman? Yes. And he'd read the script for Rose, mm-hmm. and he was really excited about it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that was beforehand, wasn't it? Well, I do, yeah, before, before. I do yeah. read, remember reading Rob Shearman for the simple fact that I wanted to say, we wanted to say congratulations. Yeah, because it had been announced so he was going to be doing a script. And he was at a Big Finish signing, so we had to buy something Big Finish related. Just to, to say hello to Rob so, Shearman. Yeah, and we got everybody else to sign it, and I think half of the people hadn't even had anything to do with it because it was a book. And it was a bit embarrassing. I thought, yeah. We just want to go to Rob Shearman. <laughs> <laughs> Because so we, we were so pleased those. for him, yeah. weren't we? Because yeah. we, we met knew him his, before. We knew his stuff. Yeah. And we went, oh, yeah. Rob's writing for yeah. it, yeah. And we sort of said to him, oh, congratulations, yeah. you know, it's, it's really good news. And he was yeah. very, very pleased. Yeah, but he, yeah. he, he was all excited having he Red Rose, yeah, yeah, and he couldn't tell anybody yeah. about anything about it. Yeah, because Rob Sherman is lovely. He, yeah. he never believes, because I think we, I can't remember what it was. What, you tell him how good his stuff is. Yeah, and he's like, is it, is you really? we like, yes, you want a warm. But that's true of a lot of people. Yes, yes. Rob? You're fat. Yeah. Should we make him watch it? <laughs> Just spam him with it. Yeah. Well, watch this. So. Anyway, so that's Rose. Mm-hmm. And we will continue with some more... I think Rose isn't down here. Cause she'd be wondering why you kept yeah. saying her name. We shall continue like, with Rose some more... Rose the cat, that is. Eccleston like later. We'll, we'll do a couple of episodes... Is it per season or per doctor? We're uh, not sure yet. We're not sure yet. It depends how much time we have. We'll see, we're, we're trying to make it last yeah. at the end of the year. Yeah. We're, we're, this, we're, but the idea of this was that we broached the, the, the year gap. It depends when it's coming back. Well, we don't know yet. So, we're, so I might, we might go on We'll make January. it up as we go along. Yeah. You might saying. get like two per season or three per season. You might get three, one for each doctor well, season. Well, it'll be a surprise. We're doing three for this season because it's the yeah. only season. Yeah. So. We shall see. Okay. See you again soon then. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.